Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Camp Shack Productions. Today I have something special for you. I told myself that I would not do this video until somebody on YouTube actually requested it. Because I feel like sometimes this is a video that people just do to get clicks. But it finally happened. After about two years of doing YouTube, someone finally asked me how, when I am stealth camping or car camping in the Nissan, do I go to the bathroom? So I'm gonna break down the different ways that I can do that here for y'all. How are you going to do this? Uh, are you out in the middle of nowhere and the only option you have is to use nature? Or are you in one of those places where a few miles down the road you can get to a bathroom? Right now, I am 22 miles up in this beautiful spot in Nevada, um, and there is nothing around me. And that 22 miles took an hour and a half to get here. So my only option is to use nature. So the very first thing I wanna tell you is, have a poop kit. You just need a few things. So the first thing that you'll see in here is my U-Dig. This is my shovel. This is crucial for cat holes. I also have a few different rolls of toilet paper in here. This is my little travel pack that I put in my backpack when I go on a hike, just in case there's an emergency. And you can see, I just keep a lot of this stuff in here. The other thing I like to have are I like wipes. Um, I think this is a really good way to help yourself stay clean. And then hand sanity. Gotta make sure you have it. What do you do if you're required to pack out your own waste? So there are a lot of national parks, places where if you're going on a backpacking trip, uh, you are required to pack out your own waste. So what I have here is what we call a wag bag. So this is essentially, you can see there's even toilet paper in there. This is essentially a little bag that you can open up, do your business in, pile your toilet paper in there, pack everything up and haul it out. Can you guys hear that? So there is a bio waste chemical in there that helps control what comes out. Um, but these are a really important thing to have. Um, and sometimes you're actually required to carry these. Again, a lot of national parks, if you're gonna do a backpacking trip, are gonna require you to carry a wag bag. And there's all different kinds. Um, if you buy like the portable toilet, uh, I don't have one with me here. I do have one. It looks just like this. And if you have a portable toilet, uh, you have these kind of garbage looking bags that are inside of there that can also be used as a wag bag. This one's just ultra light and ultra compact. Wag bag, it's an option. Now that you've got your poop kit, next part is location scouting. So when you are out in the wilderness, the thing you wanna make sure is that you are not going to the bathroom anywhere near a water source. You can contaminate things, make it really bad for other people. So. The rule is 100 feet from water source, 100 feet from the trail, 100 feet from the road. So you just wanna make sure that you're going away from where people normally would. Now, if you're in some place like the desert, please be careful of the ecosystem. If you're in some place that has cryptobiotic soil, really don't go tromping the crypto to go to the bathroom. Other than that, you got lots of choices. So let's get into what some of those might be. You've gone away from camp, You've gone away from roads, you've gone away from water sources, you're out in the middle of an open place. So you definitely want to make sure that you have privacy. So find something that you can go behind. Uh, there are a couple options. One of the things that I have seen people do in the past is, say there is a downed tree, there are none here, so I can't show you this, I'm sorry. But there's a tree that's got a little space to it where you could actually go and kind of prop yourself so that you're hanging over that tree, um, that's a good way to do it. That's my favorite way to go to the restroom, go poop out in the middle of the desert. The other thing that I've seen people do is they will go and they will hang on a tree. But essentially, you lean back and you rely on the tree and you let things fall. I don't really love this method, 
I think it's a really good way to get messy. I highly recommend just dig a cat hole, squat, and do your business. You're probably asking yourself, what is a cat hole? A cat hole is a six inch deep hole, uh, about the size of a soda can, six inches deep, that you will actually go to the bathroom in, and then you wanna make sure that you don't leave your TP. Take it with you. It does not biodegrade. Don't let it on fire. Don't do anything like that. Put it in a Ziploc and take it out with you. That's the best thing. It's very simple. This is my U-Dig shovel. It's nice because it folds and it fits right inside of its pack. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my U-Dig, right? a very simple hole that I can then just fill back up with dirt. And that is a cat hole, everybody. Very simple, very easy. I have my cat hole. What I would do here is I would drop my pants and then you wanna make sure that you are very ready to go to the bathroom. You hover, you squat, you go to the bathroom, you wipe, and then you put your tissue, or your toilet paper into a Ziploc bag and take it with you. Super simple. It's just really important to make sure that you're not in a place where you could infect anything, where you could cause any kind of problem. Um, also think about campsites, right? I don't know about y'all, but I've been to several places where I'll find toilet paper and things underneath a log. Just don't do it. Take it with you. Don't leave it out here. It's not going to biodegrade. Do your business and then you bury it up. You've hand sanitized. You've used one of your wipes. You've buried everything. And like I said, I like to mark it with a rock. That way, hopefully nobody's going to move a rock to go to the bathroom. It's okay. Don't take it too serious. Uh, get relaxed, get comfortable. Um, make sure you're eating plenty of fiber on your trips. Make sure that it's not just all junk food and pizza and all that stuff. And uh, don't hesitate to go. Um, when you need to, grab your shovel, grab your kit, go out, dig your hole, squat, go to the bathroom and feel much better. It really is not that big of a deal. And if it's that big of a deal to you, Go get a portable toilet. Uh, they make like five gallon buckets that have toilet lids on them that you can seal up. Like there's so many options of what you can do if you don't want to dig a cat hole, but it's by far the easiest and the most sanitary as far as I'm concerned. I think the biggest point behind all of this is don't let having to go to the bathroom stop you from coming to some place like this. I mean, it is just absolutely amazing and it's really, I know this is just me saying it, but don't make it a big deal if you can. Um, if you can't, I'm sorry, but if you can and you can go out and you can do this, it's just something we do. It's something you have to do when you're out. So don't make it a huge deal. Um, if it's gonna stop you from seeing things, it's really gonna be a bummer. So just dig that hole, do your business, be okay with it. I think that's the biggest lesson from all of this is that all of us poop, right? I mean, there's books about it. Um, probably not in the schools anymore, but that's a different subject. But, you know, like, it's okay. Go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. Just make sure you're safe, make sure you're sterile, make sure you wash your hands, make sure you're hand sanitized, make sure you do all those things. Um, so that way you don't get sick. And then just realize that we all do it and, and go with it. That is my best piece of advice. And I'm sorry that I had to make a crappy video. Thanks to the people that wanted to comment on this and said, how do you go to the bathroom? Um, this is how I do it. Usually, you know, again, number one, if I'm stealth camping in the back of the car, I'm gonna go in a bottle. I have the equipment to do that, it works. Um, if I'm not, I'm gonna walk away from the car, all that stuff. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Again, go down, hit that like button, subscribe if you're really feeling generous, and I will see you all in the next video. Be well, my friends.